Hello everyone, I'm back again with another handbag video and I'm very excited to introduce you to these two handbags which may look similar to two other brands but in fact these bags are made by a company named Quince. So I have purchased clothing from Quince in the past uh, in particular their cashmere and I do plan on doing a future video where I compare their cashmere with other brands so if you think that's something you might be interested in please consider liking and subscribing so you're notified when I upload new content. So with all that said, let's start with the first bag. This is the Italian leather box shoulder bag. This is in the cream color. I think this color is absolutely beautiful and it has this nice sheen to it. This bag overall does resemble the Celine box bag, which I believe is discontinued, but you can still get it on the secondhand market. And I did a little looking and I found a couple, but you will pay up in the $2,000 range if you want one that is excellent condition. This bag retails for $149.99. This leather is a smooth leather. This is made out of top grain Italian calf leather so this is a leather bag you have gold hardware here on the clasp and you have two rings on the top for the shoulder strap in terms of the dimensions it is 9.3 inches in width 6.4 inches in height and 2.8 inches deep there is no back pocket and of course no feet on the bag. The strap, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this strap, but I actually have found that it's very versatile. You can wear this as a shoulder bag, doubled up. You can wear it as a longer shoulder bag. You just pull the strap through the rings. So it can be worn as a longer shoulder bag. It can also be worn crossbody. So I love the fact that it's versatile in that way. What's also nice too is when you grab this bag, you can grab it by this piece of leather here and help to pull it up so that you're not having to grab the bag by the body of the bag. The strap does have numerous adjustments, which is another nice feature. When I received the bag, this strap was inside the bag, but it's very easy to feed this strap through these two rings and then you select the adjustment that works for you. So getting inside the bag, you have a clasp here that you push on the side and it pops right open. The leather continues on the interior. It also appears to be leather lined, so it's not a cloth interior. It's like a smooth leather and it has a tan color, I'd say, to it. But you have one main compartment. You have a slip pocket here in the front with a little slip pocket inside. There is a zipper section here. And there's also a slip pocket in the way back. I have an iPhone Pro Max, and that easily fits inside this bag. In terms of the gold, it definitely has more of a brassy look to it, which I kind of like. I think it looks nice with the cream color. I also notice here, there's a little bit of a pattern there on the gold, which I think is kind of a nice touch. So very easy to close this, line it up, push it in place. So overall, I think a very nice bag, especially at this price point. I will note a con, however. This leather is a little stiff, so just something to be aware of. Hopefully in time, as I use the bag, it will loosen up a bit, but as you can see, when I'm lifting it up, it kind of gets stuck right here, so you kind of have to force it open, and I want to be careful, because you can see when you open it, it starts to bend here so in time there may be some creasing that forms along the back of the bag but overall i have to say i'm pretty impressed even with the stitching the stitching is actually very nicely done 
if you like the Celine box bag, you know, this may be a good alternative and certainly a more affordable alternative. This is the Italian leather trapeze crossbody bag. I think this is absolutely adorable. It looks like a little dumpling. It also looks like another brand which you may already be thinking of, and that is Paulin, in particular their Numero Neuf mini bag. Of course, that bag will run you, I believe it's around $520. This bag retails for $99.90. This is in the color cognac and it's made of top Italian grain leather. This has a nice feel to it. I mean, you could just tell that it's a nice leather. It does have some grain to it as well, which should help in durability. It has a nice smell of leather as opposed to this bag here. It has a slightly more plasticky smell. And again, it may be because it's coated, but this in terms of quality, and I guess it too, it depends on your preference, but of the types of leather, I definitely prefer the softer leathers with the grain. Look at this beautiful top handle. I definitely am partial to top handle bags because I find they're just so easy to grab and go, fuss-free. The hardware is in a gold home. And you have these two rings along the side to hook the crossbody strap, which I have here. We'll look at that in a moment. In terms of the dimensions, it is nine and a half inches wide, nine inches in height, and five and a half inches in width. Getting inside the bag, you have this open space here. I don't believe. No, there's no pockets inside, but this is lined with a material that is the same color as the exterior of the bag. So it's a cognac color inside. Closing the bag, you have here a snap closure, which is also in a gold toned hardware. And then it snaps in place. And for those of you with the larger iPhone, let's just make sure that it fits in here. And in fact, it does. It's right along the side. Now, one thing that's mentioned actually in some of the reviews of the Polen Numero Neuf Mini is it can be a little bit difficult to get things in and out of the bag. And I would say that, yes, it's a similar issue here too. However, the mouth of this is pretty flexible, so you can widen it a bit so you have more room to get the phone in and out. So just something to be mindful of. You do have to get past you know, the top handle, and then because of the way it's shaped, you're gonna put it in as a, at an angle and then it goes along the side. So not as easy as maybe certain other bags getting your phone or your belongings in and out, but it's not so much of an issue that I feel like it's a deal breaker. I have to say, I mean, I just absolutely love this bag and I think because of the shape, you may be losing a little bit of functionality, but I think it's worth it in this case. So now let's take a look at the crossbody strap. For the crossbody strap, it says the strap drop goes from 19 inches to 23 inches. So it is adjustable. So you've got your metal rings, take this, feed it through, and then punch it through the hole on the other side. Okay. Do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Feed it through and then punch this through. And there you go. So now you can wear it as both a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. And I think it actually is very comfortable as a shoulder bag as well as a crossbody bag. They include the weight on the website. They say that this weighs one pound. So it is quite a lightweight bag, especially considering that the leather's pretty thick on it and there's a lot of folds. Um, so overall, again, very impressed with this handbag. Now, both of these bags are quite popular and I've noticed that they do sell out. If that happens to you, 
add yourself to the wait list. That's what I had to do actually for this bag. At the time I bought this one, this had come back into stock. And so I was able to get this without being waitlisted. But this bag, it sold out before I was able to buy it. So I added myself to a wait list. And I would say maybe three weeks to four weeks later, I got an email saying it was back in stock. I got right on there and I purchased it. The handbags also come with dust bags. And the feel of the dust bag really isn't bad. I mean, it's a little bit thin, but at least it comes in a dust bag. And when I'm not using these, I do store them in the dust bag. I also will mention too that when these arrived, they were very nicely packaged. They were stuffed. Like this one had great amount of stuffing in here so that it didn't get crushed in transit. This bag, of course, is much more stiff, but they had it very nicely protected as well. So when it arrived, it was in pristine condition. Well, I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful. I will link both of these bags down in the description below. Thank you for being here. Happy shopping. Bye for now.